Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Azure Hybrid. So with Azure Hybrid, you can sync all your devices to Azure. In other words, you can sync all your on-prem devices to Azure. So I have a, a bunch of work, uh, test workstation here under Workstations OU. I want to sync all these computers to Azure. I already um, configured the Azure, so let's go to. I'm sorry, I already configured the Azure uh, hybrid. So as you can see here, if I go to Azure Active Directory and I go to Devices, and under Devices, I would see all my devices are synced from on-prems. If you look at join type, it was synced using um, uh, hybrid Azure AD join. So anything with hybrid Azure AD join are devices that are synced from on-prems. Those devices that does not have any owner yet, as you can see, there's no owner. So, in order to do this, let's start from the beginning. So, what you need to do is, if you have AD Connect is already installed, I would just click on it, right click and go to Run as Administrator. And go to Configured. You want to configure device options. Click on Configure Device Options, click Next. So it tells you here, um, Hybrid Azure AD Join. This will enable devices in your Active Directory for us we have to, to register with AD, Azure AD for access management. So a computer in your organization will automatically discover an Azure using the services the uh, service connection point. So the service connection point will automatically when you uh, choose this hybrid Azure AD join option. I will click next. I will enter my tenant credential. Enter my password. So I have this options here. Um, so if you want to configure device right back, here's an options to do that. Or you can configure hybrid Azure AD join. But I click next. So you must be an enterprise admin in order to do this. We'll click on it and I click add. And if you don't have an enterprise admin credentials, you need to download this step here. Um, it's a PowerShell script. So I click on add. And I would enter my enterprise admin credentials. It's your on-prem um, enterprise admin credential. So the, the forest or the domain has been added. Click next. So if you want to support anything lower than Windows 10, you can do a support Windows down, down level. So I don't have any Windows 7 or 8, so I'm going to choose Windows 10 or later. I'm going to click next. So that is the first step to configure um, AD, uh, hybrid AD. Click on configured and click on exit. That's the first step. The second step, you need to run the, you need to run, um, you need to deploy a GPO policy to your devices. So I would run the GP edit MSC.
I'm sorry. Um, I I think I need to go into the administrative tools and go to GP Edit. group policy management and run it as administrator. All right, so I already created the policy for the um, Azure hybrid setup. So, but I'm gonna show you what I did. So if I look under uh, group policy. Oops, let's see where did I put it. Okay, right here. So here's the policy that I created. Um, let's open it up. Click on add it. And if you go to policy, under policy, there's a under administrative template. Go to Windows component and it should be under MDM. So you need to enable this. As you can see, it's currently, I'm sorry, um, so disable mean it's disabled. So you need to change it to disable. So if you read here, if you do not configure this policy, MDM in Roman will be enabled. And if you enable policy, MDM Roman will be disabled. So it's kind of confusing. So you want to be, you want to disable. If you disable this policy setting, MDM in, in Roman will be enabled for all users. So you need to enable this, or you need to disable this in order for it to enroll into Azure. So that's how you do it. Once it's created, um, so the policy has been created. So what I need to do is um, I'm going to link it to the workstations. As you can see, it's already linked. I got my workstations here, workstation OU. I would just right click and link an existing GPO. So it's gonna it's already linked so i'm just going to show you um where to link it to so i click on the policy click ok so it's going to tell you it's already linked so that's the second step of um, setting up the azure hybrid and if you have any questions please um, put it in the question in the comment sections and i'd be glad to answer you and um once you run the GP update on one of your workstation, it should automatically shows up in Azure All Devices. As you can see, mine is Azure AD registered, so it's it's hybrid Azure AD joint. That's it. Thank you for watching, and you have a good day.